Holy smokes, we're at a volcano. It's crazy, you can feel the heat up here. It is absolutely nuts. It's huge. Wow, I've never done anything like this. Fingers crossed it doesn't um, erupt whilst we're here. Yes, good morning everybody and welcome to the seas of Hawaii. It's a bit miserable right now. We're just sailing to Maui and we get in in about an hour, but we're having a rain, rainstorm. It's a little bit like the Caribbean. You get the odd storm go through, but it does clear up pretty quickly, which is great. But I'm starving. Let's go to the main dining room for some grub. Let's get some breakfast, shall we? Before we get off and explore Hawaii, we're going to take you for a main dining room breakfast just to show you what it's like here on Norwegian cruise line so we're going to head to the very back of the ship to the windows restaurant and try some yummy food i'm starving we need lots of food before we get off today so let's do this are you hungry david well i wasn't this morning but then ben said breakfast and all of a sudden i was famished that's the cruise thing isn't it you're not hungry until the thought of food pops into your head plus we've got a really long day today in hawaii and so we want to be full ready to go full of beans as they say it's very quiet. It is very quiet. Which way is it? Is it down here? Yes. We do get lost trying to find these dining rooms. Not gonna lie. Welcome to table 212 in the Windows dining room. And guess what? We've got a window table. Look how beautiful mm, that is. It's so nice. It's a little bit miserable at the moment. We're hoping that the weather clears up closer we get to the island. Breakfast time, guys. Let's have a look what's on the menu. First things first, I like how much choice there is. It does seem very plentiful, especially compared to like Royal Caribbean's new breakfast menu. This feels like there is so much to choose from. All your usual stuff, breakfast entrees, then there's a lot of them. These remain the same every day. And then they have little daily features. There's two of them that change every day. How exciting. I went for the frosted flakes for my breakfast or something a little bit different. I might know what it's gonna taste like, so let's just try it anyway. Oh, look, I'm a cereal killer. Yum. I got the yogurt parfait topped with granola. Parfait, posh for yogurt in a pot. Really tasty. My wife went for something a bit southern and a bit unusual. I have tried this before, I think on Royal Caribbean, but I wanted to try it again. Biscuits and gravy. Well, that's not gravy and that's not biscuits where we come from. That's a scone or a like a cheesy scone and that's like white sauce. And it's got some lovely sausages, a trio of sausages. I'm gonna treat myself, as well as a lovely little tomato. And I've got a side of hash browns and bacon, just for luck. Right, so let's have a little try, shall we? I'm gonna try and get a bit of everything together. Oh, it's, it's, it's falling a bit. So biscuits in the UK are actually cookies in the USA. And gravy's like dark. Let's have a try. I like it. It's very nice. I like the gravy. The biscuits are lovely, like I said exactly like a scone or a scone as we get in the united kingdom and the sausages the fun sized i love them mm. i got one of the daily specials and like i said these change every day i got the avocado and egg wrap very cheesy nice bright green avocado egg really good love the potatoes love the little side salsa that's a wrap freaking delicious really really good super impressed with the food on norwegian right now we're going to get ready to get off today and explore even more of hawaii let's go let's go we're all changed and ready for today's excursion on maui so what we're going to do is we're going to meet up with steph d and j and we've hired a car to take us to a snorkeling excursion this is a third party excursion that we didn't book through the cruise line of course do some amazing snorkeling let's go so we're off the ship super quick the guys are just grabbing towels you can grab towels as you get off the ship and we're going to go ahead and find the car so we're just walking from the port now it is quite a long walk and at the port area it was very busy with people waiting for tours and mulling around and things like that but if you are doing your own thing you do need to exit the port area which is very industrial and I was saying, I feel like I'm in some sort of prison. It's just a very long walk with chain fences each side. Still walking. We've now moved from the prison to the prison yard for our daily exercise now. You know, when you think of Hawaii, you really do think of industrial trucks, tires, chain link fences. But this is just the port area. I'm gonna get to the beautiful stuff in a minute. So we've came to do some lovely snorkeling, but we're having car park karaoke or carpool karaoke it's fabulous we sound amazing <laughs> the second oh, hands of time if we hear a hump a bump i'll be so sorry if we hear a chicken 
there are hundreds and thousands of them. It's something that I didn't know about Hawaii, but it's so funny. You've got all of this beautiful landscape and all these chickens running about. I've got to admit though, I've seen lots of chicken places in KFC, so I think these guys should be a little bit scared. Welcome to the island of Maui. Now, this is our third island we've came to at the Hawaiian Islands, and it's so lovely to be here. We've got so much fun planned for today. This place is spectacular. The drive here is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. Thanks to J&D again for hiring out the car and bringing us here with all of their lots of knowledge about these islands. Brilliant to have your own personal tour guide. Just paying up for parking, a dollar an hour, not too bad. We've got about an hour and a half till our snorkeling excursion starts, so we're gonna have a look around some of the shops here. There's a general store. Got some grenades, melon berry gum, and apparently it's really good. Where'd you get this from, Steph, from CVS? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. What's happening? I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my God! What the heck have you just done to me? She's poisoned me. It's cold in my mouth. Every breath's like, I feel like I'm in Iceland or Alaska. I don't know if you can see, but my eyes are actually watering right now. Oh my God, Julie Andrews on a blooming pogo stick. That is awful. Thanks, Steph. It's like, oh my God, it burns. It gets better, David. Yeah, aniseed. It's a bit overwhelming, isn't it? It's nice. It's Guys, I also just need to show you something as well that Hawaii is famous for. Let's go get it, shall we? You know me very well that no trip is complete without some nuts in my mouth. And these are chocolate-covered macadamia nuts, and they are freaking delicious. Here we go. Oh, look at the fish. We're walking to our ship for the day. I think it's a catamaran. You see the fish there? How crazy is that? That was a big fish. Lovely cat try there. Uh, we're looking for number 80, which is down here somewhere. And I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be good. Hawaii, the snorkeling here is insane. I've never seen anything like it in the Caribbean or anywhere else. It's much more tropical. Let's board our boat to our snorkel spot. So it took about an hour to get to our destination where we were gonna go swimming in the reefs and we were looking forward to seeing lots of fish and we were not disappointed. It was really fantastic. I saw so many tropical fish that I'd never seen before. Really colorful fish and beautiful fish. It was just stunning. Anyway, the next day we headed to Hilo on the big island again to take a look at some volcanoes. Welcome to a volcano. We're on Kilauea. It's the most active volcano in the world. It's incredible. It literally only erupted earlier this year in 2023. This is something we've never ever done before and I'm so excited to head around. We're at the National Park, so we're gonna go and see all the different spots on the different lookout points. Hired a car again with the guys and driving around. Yeah, thanks to D&J again for hiring out the car. This is uh, amazing. I can see steam all around us. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's go have a look, shall we? I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, that is, oh my God, I've steamed up. Oh my God, that is so, so hot. Holy moly, that is so crazy. It's great for your paws. Oh no, I'm like steam room right here. Oh jeez, that is hot. That is crazy, steam from the center of the earth. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh my, my gosh, this is hot. That is crazy. Is it smelly? It's a bit sulfury. It's not too bad though, is it? But the water down there is boiling. People have chucked money and dollars and all sorts down there. I'm tempted to go in and fish out all those dollars. There must be a couple of hundred dollars down there, guys. If you're feeling brave, go do it, but this is just incredible. I've not seen anything like this before. I'm scared to put my hand over it. It doesn't feel natural to... That's incredible though. I wasn't expecting to actually see steam and then as we were driving in, we saw it. Everybody in the car was like, oh my God, it's there. That's so cool. I'm so excited to see the rest of the National Park. It's actual steam from a volcano from the underground. That's awesome. So Dee and David have found a, a new use. De-steaming clothes, wrinkle release. <laughs> My clothes got a little bit wrinkled on the way here, so. Oh, it's, do you know what? I, I had, um, my hip was like a bit stiff and it's hurting. It's actually helping it now. Volcanoes solve everything. There we go. So this is a national park. So we bought our pass. We just paid for a car, which is $30. And you just do that online. And then you get a little QR code to show anybody who asks but it's amazing. It was about 35 minute drive from the port of Hilo. And this is just fantastic. What an amazing experience. We've had so many first experiences here in Hawaii. It's just an amazing place.
This is another one literally right next to it. This looks really cool. Oh, vegetation. It looks like a little mini volcano. There's a few of these all around. I can see loads on the other side as well. These are the ones just next to the parking bay, but you can do a little hike to go and have a look at all the others. I've never seen anything like this before. It's incredible. Holy smokes, we're in a volcano. It's crazy. You can feel the heat up here. It is absolutely nuts. It's huge. Wow, I've never done anything like this. Fingers crossed it doesn't um, erupt whilst we're here. But yeah, wow, amazing. Oh, guys, I'm like Jennifer Lopez. I'm waiting for tonight. Just need a few lasers behind me. This is crazy, look at this. Holy moly. This is fabulous. It's getting really dramatic up here. It's all fun and games, but when it comes to reality, these areas are actually quite dangerous for some people's health, which is crazy, but it's very easy to walk, very flat. So if you're in a wheelchair or have a disability, you should be able to get around pretty easily. It's all very well done. But as far as national parks go, our first ever one, this is fantastic. Definitely recommend it. $30 for all of us, for five of us per car. That's a bargain. Definitely worth the admission price. David, it's like an alien landscape, isn't it? It is crazy. Feels like something's gonna pop up and eat us or something. Especially because of all the plants and stuff as well. They all look very like outer worldly. I didn't expect it to be this good. I expected a sort of light fizzle that you probably wouldn't even really see in real life. I didn't expect actually plumes and plumes of steam. This is incredible. So what's crazy, just a few days after we left, Kilauea volcano erupted, spewing massive flows of lava around the crater floor. It's been carefully looked at by the US Geological Survey. Absolutely crazy to think just a few days after we left, the whole place erupted. It might explain why there was so much activity in steam. We just hope everybody stays safe. So we're just going to see the sulphur banks or the sulphur hills and you can really smell. Is that you, David? Sorry, I had the Indian in the buffet last night. <laughs> if you were here or had smell of vision you would be going boo boo right now. It smells like sulfur, but it's really beautiful with lots of colored rocks and things like that, that have been made during the cooking process of the heat and the rocks together. It's crazy. It's so vibrant and beautiful. Anyway, we're going to head to our next viewing point now. Come along, stay with us on this Hawaiian epic adventure. Off we go back to the car. The great thing about having a car is that we can drive around the national park so we can drive to all the different spots. You can hike it as well. Not sure how long that would take because it is quite a large park. And the folks were just saying that they think the buses from the cruise ship only drop you off at the entrance at the visitor center. And then you have to pretty much make your own way around the actual national park. But we've got a car so we can hop in and drive off. Now we're just making our way down to the lava tubes. Yes, the lava tubes, how crazy is that? But we're walking through this little forest which legitimately resembles Jurassic Park with all of the amazing flora and fauna. It's crazy. And there's some amazing view outs to the other crater as well. It's quite steep though. <laughs> we're at the entrance now. Enter at your own risk. You could hit your head or something could fall on you. It's gonna be dark in there, let's do this. Ooh, look at the lovely ambient orange lighting. We're in the lava tube now. This is real lava. This is so crazy. Wow. Inside the lava tube is incredible. Now, there isn't actually lava flowing through here. It does sound pretty cool, but no, nope. this is the tube that was created from the lava powering through. We made it through the lava tube. That was fun. It was dark in there. There was some low level lighting, like little orange lights, as you saw. But yeah, it was a really dark tube and a bit wet in there as well, so do be careful. Such fun, Ben. Who doesn't love a wet tube? I would say out of 10, this is an activity level five. Because the problem with hiking one way is that you've got to go all the way back. So it was about a half a mile. So a mile round walk. And it was quite steep and off-road. There wasn't any smooth paths or anything. Not a good time to film with a heavy camera. Ah, there we go. Up at the top of the hill, we did it. So yeah, we're comfortable shoes. Um, it's not suitable for wheelchairs, unfortunately. There is a lot of hills, steep hills and staircases and a lot of it's an off the beaten path trail. So yeah, about an activity level five. 
See, this is why Crocs is not a good idea for this journey. Crocs are perfect, be quiet. They're amazing. They're versatile shoes that you can wear anywhere. He says as he hobbles down. So this is the Marla Filara flower. Hello there, welcome to Mars. It's another planet here. Actually, we're in the cinder fields, and this is very strange. It really is otherworldly. Now, these rocks are super, super light because they've got loads of little holes in them for when they were thrust up into the atmosphere, almost six miles into the atmosphere, which is nuts. It's absolutely crazy. This space does look like Mars or something. These rocks are really hot from the sun as well, so. It's the weirdest landscapes ever. It just constantly changes and feels like we're in different film locations or different parts of the world. It's Truly magnificent. Well, these idiots are totally ignoring what it says to do not walk past the space, but hey, you always get one, don't you? We've just stopped off at the side of the road to do this. Walk on actual lava. All this area is lava flow from previous eruptions. It's crazy, literally. I'm stood on lava from a real volcano. I mean, this is insane. It just goes on for miles and miles. Absolutely beautiful. You can actually see where it flowed and then just stopped as well. It's absolutely, what a sight to behold. Just pure nothingness. And then a couple of trees are just like, plop, hello. I'm a tree, I can survive anything. Don't be fooled by the rags that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Well, David from the block. David from the block, from the cinder block. FYI, I'm just gonna pop this rock back where it came from. We are not removing anything from here. We do not want any bad luck from Paley. Time to go. That's it. We're getting back on the ship after our Hawaii adventure. Oh my gosh, do bear in mind though, Norwegian are so, so strict with bringing any liquids on board. So even half a bottle of water, they will not let you have it because they want you to spend money on the ship. Other cruise lines are a little bit looser, so they do let things go through the net, but you absolutely cannot bring on any alcohol whatsoever at any point during the cruise. Soda, water, anything. Anyway, let's get back on and have some lovely dinner on board, shall we, as we sail away and show you the beautiful islands as we leave. Now, if I do have one complaint about Norwegian, and it's only a little one because we do love sailing with Norwegian, is that getting on and off the ship in port is always such a palaver. And I don't know why, it's always such a, a mess compared to other cruise lines. Like, like now, we've got a gigantic queue to get back on board. It's always like this, I'm not sure why, but it's, it's not the end of the world. That's the last piece of land I'm going to touch in Hawaii. And the next bit of land I'll touch will be in Alaska. That's crazy, isn't it? Look at this. Hawaii, you Alaska. Won't, you certainly won't be in shorts and crocs, hopefully. And I don't think I'll be wearing these shorts, David, but hey. We've got some pier strollers. They should really be pier runners because they're about half an hour late. They weren't on a ship excursion. As usual, the sail away from the Big Island was absolutely spectacular. Hawaii, you've been amazing. Well, hello everyone. We've had an amazing day in Hilo, in the Big Island. We're back on the ship. We're all dressed for dinner. Me and David are going for date night. We're going to Le Bistro, which is the French specialty restaurant. Super looking forward to this, so let's waste no more time and go eat, shall we? We've got to find it first. Even though this is a small ship, the layout is a little bit weird and a lot of the venues are a little bit tucked away, so you have to like know where you're going. It's down here, David, I can see it. This way! Sorry! Are you hungry? I am, and it's been ages since we did Le Bistro. The last time we did it was our getaway cruise, which was about seven years ago. It was. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. Oh my gosh, look at that sunset outside. I just wanted to come and show you the sunset because it looks spectacular. It's very windy out here, so I'm going to waste no more time and get back inside. I'm starving. It's beautiful. Let's go. And um, this is my bottle of champagne I've ordered for the evening. Oh, nice. So we're here in Le Bistro. This is a really lovely little restaurant. It's quite small and it's got a beautiful view of the outside as well. Got an amazing sunset that we can see. Le Bistro is a little bit fancier than the other restaurants. It's perfect for a bit, bit more of an intimate dinner, but friends as well. There is more of a dress code. Men do have to wear a collared shirt and it is sort of like smart casual. So a shirt, jeans, nice shoes, and you're good to go. Gonna have a look at the menu, it looks really good. So we put our orders in. 
One thing that is a little bit confusing again, where we've got the meal dining package, so three meals on board, but two of the best dishes are extra pay on top of what we've already paid to come here, which is a little bit confusing. Norwegian does have a history of nickel and diming compared to some other cruise lines. So it's a shame to see that the beef, just a normal beef tenderloin, as well as the lobster, you're gonna have to pay an extra charge than what you've already paid to come on the actual cruise, then paid to do the speciality dining, and then there's another charge on top of that as well. It's a bit cheeky. My first courses came and I went for something very, very French. I went for the escargot, or the snails, basically. But it is an acquired taste, not gonna lie, but it looks beautiful and it's very hot, I can feel it from here. Save myself a little bit of French baguette as well to go with it, because I do like to have a little bit of crunchy baguette with it. It's a little snail, it looks like a little mushroom. Do you want one, Ben? No, thank you. Okay, it comes coated in garlic butter with some cheese and herbs on the top. Mm, put it beyond. Beautiful, hot, tasty, full of flavour. Oh, so good. I'm just going to dip, dip my bread in the uh, garlic butter now. I like all the naughty bits. I went for the French onion soup, yes. I know I had this last night in Cagney's and it was amazing. But I wanted it again because it tastes so good. And it looks a little bit different, so let's go and have a little try, shall we? Slap me with a jumbo jet and call me airborne. Oh, it gets better. That is the best one I've had so far. It's like a beef consomme in there as well. So it's super salty and beefy and cheesy and bready and delicious. Oh, it's like the best soup ever. But it's a lot of cheese. It's very unhealthy, but you're on vacation, treat yourself. Just doing it for research purposes, of course. I also got the baked onion soup as well. It's good. That is good. Baked onion soup. Sweet, salty. It's not as sweet as some of the others we've had. Nice and cheesy as well. I do miss though my crispy bits around the outside, but this is a little bit posher. Really tasty. I got the goat cheese croquette with lovely beet salad. And doesn't it look so pretty? Let's go and have a little try. I've got to admit, guys, for me, nothing beats a beet. I do love a good beet. It's delicious. I'm not the biggest fan of goat cheese, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let's go have a look. Got bits of apple in there and rocket. It looks lovely. Ooh, those beets did not disappoint. Super earthy and juicy. The goat cheese is really nice. I can't really taste it. Crispy on the outside. Delicious with the apples as well. Really nice flavor. Very impressed indeed so far. Really good food in here. Really enjoying the food on Norwegian, I've got to say. For my main course, I got the Dover Soul, which is one of the fish courses. The menu is actually great. It has a lot of options for the main courses, meats, fishes, and also a vegetarian option. So the Dover Soul comes with some croutons, lemon zest, and also uh, potatoes on the side. The croutons are really delicious. The potatoes are good as well. The fish is okay. It's a little on the dry side for me, but it's a really nice flavor. And I got the cock au van. Well, I like vans and I love cheeky. I see what the French did there. I love it. Cock au van. It's basically chicken in a red wine sauce with some vegetables. Should we go in and try it? Let's just stop things right here. That sauce is legitimately Chimay's Bowls. It's like a red wine sauce and it is beautiful. Leonardo da Vinci himself could chuck a bucket of that over me and I would lick it off myself. It is delicious. I don't know why I said Leonardo da Vinci, but hey, really, really good. The chicken's lovely, the vegetables are really nice as well. Been an A-star meal so far, loving it. I think we need to order the bread basket again to oh. dip up the sauce. So good. Dessert time. I went for the chocolate. I can't remember the name of it, it was in French. Um, it's basically the, the chocolate bar that's 70% cocoa, dark cocoa chocolate. It comes with a raspberry um, sauce on the side and a little fleck of gold. How very posh. I will be taking that down to cash converters later on. That's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Being such a dark chocolate uh, dessert, I was expecting it to be really rich, but it's actually very light, very silky as well. And I love the outside, it's very shiny. I am really like that. A lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I got the Frasier dessert. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but it's basically strawberries, cream, chocolate, and some other things. Looks beautiful. Let's go in and have a try, shall we? It's okay. It's a little bit gelatiny. The taste is really good. I do like the taste and the little bit of sponge on the bottom. 
and the strawberries and things, but yeah, just a little bit gelatiny, which is a little bit disappointing considering how good the rest of the meal has been. But overall, a big old success. C'est bon, magnifique. Look at me. This video is sponsored by Babbel. So in the UK, we would call that meal banging. And that means that it was very good indeed. Really, really nice. It is an extra pay dining restaurant. They do charge a la carte as well if you do want to eat there without a dining package. But honestly, the dining packages and the free at sea package are so much cheaper. Anyway, we're going to the back of the ship. Yes, because the theatre is in the back of the ship. And we're going to go watch one of the shows. It's a Whitney Houston impersonator. Let's go see if she's any good. <laughs> So that was a good show. Lots of entertainment on board. We've had the most amazing time in Hawaii. What an incredible trip. Uh, we've got to say a big thank you to our amazing patrons as well for supporting us. In return, we give you early access to our videos, extra behind the scenes footage, Zoom calls and more. Check out the description below to join. And if you like this video, check out our adventures on the Norwegian Bliss. You're gonna be able to click on the screen right now. Some more Norwegian goodness with our family if you missed out on that one, so click here now. Bye. That's it till next time. Happy cruising.